crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys. Um, I'm here to take part in two things. One is theme of the week. Um, Nicole announced, she originally had announced that the theme of this week was Saturday morning cartoons. Um, but that's apparently for next week. And this week is actually dressing up for Mother's Day. And so I don't really have anything too dressy for the boys, but I do have this um, gray romper that I'm gonna put on Joshua and it has like a tie on it. I thought it was kind of dressy. Um, and while I change him, I'm going to be answering the Mother's Day tag that Shannon from Love Me Some Reborn Babies started. Um, I'll link to her video in the description below if you want to go and um, get the questions so that you can do the tag yourself. And so there's 11 questions and I will get started while I change Joshua. Okay, so question number one is using only one word, ask your mom if you can, what is one word she would use to describe you as a child? So I did call my mom right before I made this video to ask her and she had a really hard time choosing just one word. Um, so I'll tell you what she said. Basically, as a baby, Riley, as a baby, she would choose the word happy. Um, even though I had colic for like, I think it was like maybe the first two months um, after that had passed, she said I was always a very happy baby, always smiling, always laughing. Um, and basically everywhere she took me, everyone, um, loved me because I was such a friendly and happy baby. Like I just always was smiling and laughing. So happy would be one word. And then as for me as a kid, from about the time of me being two years old, um, musical, because <laughs> I was singing like all the time from the time I was two years old. So. Uh, definitely she said musical would be her number one word um, musical or entertaining because I was always singing and dancing and stuff like that uh, she also had another word as well um, and it was imaginative I had a really good imagination and she, you know, like I could entertain myself very well. So if my mom needed to do something, like I, I wasn't the type of kid that constantly needed um, to have their parents playing with them like all the time. I was very good at entertaining myself. So that's what she told me. Um, question number two, were you a mama's girl or a daddy's girl? Definitely mom, cause she raised me on her own. So, I didn't see too much of my dad. Number three, what is your favorite mom trick or mom hack that you learned from your mom? Um, hmm. A mom hack. I don't. Oh, really? So there's like this weird random thread sticking out of this thing here. I'm gonna have to cut that. 
Anyways, um, a mom hack or trick. I don't know. Probably something to do with cleaning, <laughs> but I can't think of precisely a hack. Um, maybe the laundry tips. Um, you know, how to make sure that you don't shrink stuff. I don't know. I can't really think of anything in particular. Okay, number four. Does your mom know about your YouTube channel? And if so, does she watch it? Yes, she knows about my YouTube channel. Um... I don't think she watches my doll videos, but I know that she does sometimes watch um, my vlogs. So she doesn't watch like all of my videos, but she does watch from time to time. Uh, number five, what is a phrase or saying that your mom always says or said? <laughs> um, I, th <laughs> I think the only thing I can think of that's like a consistent phrase is <laughs> one that I also use now. <laughs> and that's um, when she would be like frustrated about something or something would go wrong. Um, she would say, that's just great. <laughs> and I do that too. <laughs> and Alex laughs at it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's just great is <laughs> probably the only thing I can think of. Or also, I guess, another phrase, though she doesn't do it now that I'm an adult, but as a kid, um, if I was, you know, misbehaving, which was rare, but... Um, if I was getting like too hyper or wound up or something, um, or if I was singing, like, cause when my mom would put me to bed at night, I would sing um, for as long as I could get away with singing until she would tell me to stop. And usually she would tell me by saying, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off and go to bed. So that was, um, and like the same thing, like even not just at nighttime, but if I was acting up or whatever, it was knock it off. So yeah, that would something she always said is when I was a kid and the that's just great has always been and she still says that. So that would be phrase. Um, number six. Are you named after anyone special or how did your mom or dad come up with your name? Um, not named after anyone special, I guess, but <laughs> I'm named after a soap opera character, um, Crystal Carrington from Dynasty. Um, and I think a lot of, according to my mom, a lot of babies around that time were being named after Crystal Carrington. So on the rare opportunity that I've come across people that spell their name like me, they're usually from the 80s and they usually were named after the same thing because Dynasty was apparently really big back then. Um, number seven, what is something you and your mom always love or loved to do together? Um, We've always enjoyed watching movies and TV shows together, but also when I was a kid, one thing that we really liked to do in the summertime was go to Center Island. That was definitely something that we always had to do every summer. We really loved doing that. We would take a whole day there. We would pack a lunch, um, have like a picnic lunch there. Sometimes we would rent, um, these bicycles that they had that were almost like a car that you would pedal around the island. 
So yeah, definitely Center Island when I was a kid and then watching movies and TV shows. Um, number eight, what is one of your favorite childhood memories of you and your mom? Um, that's a hard one because I have more than one. So one would definitely be, like I said in the previous question, going to Center Island every summer. Those were like the best um, times in the summer. Uh, also, another childhood memory, um, basically any Christmases were always like a big thing. Um, a lot of times my grandma would come and spend Christmas with us, which was really nice. So Christmases and summers at Center Island. Um, also, another really fun memory was when my mom got tickets for me, her, and my grandma to go see David Copperfield live. And she surprised me by getting a limo to take us down to the show. And I had no idea she had done this. And <laughs> we came, we walked out, and I'm thinking, oh, we're just going to go and take the bus downtown, the bus in the subway. And there's this limo there. And I was like, oh, wow, cool, there's a limo. But I didn't, it didn't clue in. It was for me, because why would it be? And then um, we, like, stop at the limo, and my mom's like, oh, like, she opened the door and was, like, gesturing for me to get in. I'm thinking, why do I want to get in some, like, random limo? Like, that's not ours. And <laughs> it just didn't. Like, it just didn't click, and she's like, well, go, you know, the guy said you can look in there, or whatever, and I'm like, okay, and so then once I was in, I'm like, okay, well, shouldn't we get going to the show, and she's like, well, yeah, we're going in this, like, I just, I, I didn't get it, and then once she told me, like, no, we're going in this, like, I got this for us, like, it was a cool surprise, so, um, we drove all the way downtown in the limo and I got to have like pop in the limo and there was a TV in there and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. So um, that was a fun surprise. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might have been like a birthday surprise for me, but I'm not 100% sure on that because I can't remember what month it was. I don't know if it was December or not, but... That was a fun memory. Um, number nine, did your mom wear a special perfume or fragrance that to this day when you smell it, you're instantly reminded of her? She had a whole bunch of different perfumes, so she never stuck to one in particular. So I can't say that there's one fragrance that if I smell it, I think of her. Um, she had a tray of different perfumes in her bedroom. So uh, I know there was like a while, maybe around when I was in grade eight or so, that she really liked one perfume in particular and mostly wore that for a while. But I can't think of the name of it. Number 10, what is your favorite recipe or dish that your mom makes or made when you were a child? So, I'm going to say devilish chicken, which I now make. I have the recipe for it, and I love it. It's my favorite chicken. She also used to make this really nice... Can you stop that, please? Um, she also used to make this really nice um, pork chop dish. She hasn't made it in a really, really long time, but she used to make it a lot for 
us, especially when I was in high school and it was like the most tender pork chop ever and the gravy she would make for it was really really good and it's been like a really long time since I've had that I should tell her to make it because <laughs> I don't have the recipe for that um okay that was number 10 and then number 11 is the bonus question if money were not an issue and you could buy or give your mother anything in the world to show her love and appreciation on Mother's Day this year, what would your gift to her be? Um, I would say a trip to Disney World because she's never been. Um, she had the opportunity to go with me when I was 12 um, but she couldn't afford for both of us to go. It was when um, my cousin Brittany had won a contest and they had won a trip. So the trip was for four of them. So it was Brittany, her sister, her mom, and her dad. And then they invited my mom and I to join them. But of course it would be at our expense because the prize only covered four people. Um, but my mom couldn't afford to send both of us because she was a single parent. Um, so, but she didn't want me to miss out on it. So she did everything she could to save up the money to send me. We also had like a huge garage sale in the summertime um, to try and get some money for it. And anyways, I ended up going on the trip. But she's always wanted to go to Disney World. So... I'd love and I would love to go back to Disney World so that would definitely be it um thankfully I did get to take her on a trip a few years ago um and I it was to go to the Downey Stall show and from there we went to Myrtle Beach to the Myrtle Beach Safari and that was awesome to be able to take her there um, I had almost decided not to go that route and do Disney World, but I also know that when I had showed her, um, this Myrtle Beach Safari, she was like, oh my gosh, I'd love to do that. And I figured it would be the best opportunity to do it because going to the doll show, the Downey Stall show at that time was in North Carolina. So I figured we just take a bus after the show was done to Myrtle Beach and that's what we did and so the safari was awesome because we got to interact with chimpanzees, orangutans, baby tiger cubs, um, all kinds of animals. It was so cool. It was really awesome and she loved it and like when we landed back in Toronto she just started crying because like it was the best she just loved it every minute of it and she wasn't so sure that she would like the doll show but she absolutely had a blast at the doll show um and I couldn't like drag her away from the doll show on the second day to do anything else so <laughs> she we've just had an awesome time so but I would love to take her to Disney World as well because I know she really wants to go there and I think that's all the questions because that was the bonus one. So there you have it. So that's the Mother's Day tag by Shannon. Her channel is Love Me Some Reborn Babies. And I, like I said, I'll link to her video, her original video for this tag in the description below. And if you look at the description of her Mother's Day tag video, she has all of the questions typed out there for you and so Joshua's all set he's got like I, I don't know it's kind of a casual outfit but it's sort of dressy at the same time because it's got the tie I think it's cute I think it's cute for Mother's Day I don't really have too many dressy outfits for the boys it's mostly the girls and since I just finished putting all the girls in the lupus awareness stuff. I just didn't feel like changing any of the girls into something different. So there he is. And thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye.